your first time playing with us, you need two devices. Number one, a device to view the questions on the screen. And a second device to submit your answers, whether it's a cell phone or tablet. later there were a whole bunch of marquita gucci's whose last name happened to be gutierrez all right here we go this is all about quotes so name the movie quote what movie is this from may the odds forever be in your favor the 
way we play gun is it is all about speed and accuracy. So not only do you want to be right, but you want to answer as quickly and efficiently as possible. May the odds ever in your favor. Some people get these movies confused. is The Hunger Games. That's right. The Barbie doll that you saw there embodies the main character of the series, Katniss Everdeen. It was a big scandal when Hunger Games first came out because people all up in arms because Rue uh, was an African American and people didn't like that. Uh, another fun fact, the Her Games, the first one anyway, was filmed right over at the beach, right in Clayton County. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Come on, everybody, do this. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Again, the way we play Kahoot is speed and accuracy. doesn't it? It's like, hurry up and pick an answer or, you know, the world's gonna implode. It's not my music, it's Kahoot's. I like it, actually. The correct answer is Dirty Dancing. That's right. Nobody Puts Baby in a Corner, famously uttered by Patrick Swayze, one of my favorite, uh, Actors. May he rest peacefully. PK, what's going on? Next question. Where is this quote from? Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. is the Karate Kid, the original. The original Karate Kid. I actually got a spinoff from the original series with Cobra Kai on YouTube. Not sure if it's still going on, but I watched the first season, quite enjoyed it. Next question. this quote from? What movie is this quote from? And the correct answer is Twilight. Everyone thought it was Silence of the Lambs, except uh, whoever selected the movie Lamb.
next question coming up. Again, this round is all about movie quotes. This next question is double the points. It's a classic movie. Let's see if I can do the the accent the right way. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> he is looking at you, kid. No, that was terrible. Yeah, we are so deleting this video. <laughs> Blanca, correct. Except for the people who got it wrong. <laughs> That's a Blanca released in 1942. Starring Rick. Character. His name is Rick Blaine. Portrayed by hum Humphrey Bogart. Ingrid Bergman as his love interest. Super easy quote going on right now. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi, my only hope. If you're a Family Guy uh, fan, this should come as an easy answer to you. Yes, it's Star Wars. You guessed it. They, it's the hologram scene that everybody likes to make memes out of. Next question. What quote is this movie from? Terminator, I'll be back. Again, terrible. I'm usually pretty good at impressions. Yes, we are in question 8 of 13. Where's this quote from? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Jumping on the board, Shea Butter Kang. Welcome to the game. It's 
Squidward in our top position. Super easy. Come on. Everybody should get this. Let's go. See, this one I know I can do. Let's see. <clears throat> My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Academy Award winning film, Forrest Gump. This next question is going to be double the points. Because it's a little tougher to figure out. Again, the key to winning Kahoot is speed and accuracy. Also novel written by Mr. Nicholas Sparks. Fun fact about The Notebook, it was actually published in 1996 and it was Nicholas Sparks' first book. And out of the many novels that have been adapted uh, that Mr. Sparks has written, The Notebook remains the highest grossing adaptation. Next question, double the points. Bambi. Second to last question. Let's see if I can do this one. <clears throat> I'm gonna make him an awfully king. Did that help or make it work sound? Website kahoot.it. 
The game pin right next to it is how you join this round, but if you want to wait, we are in the last, we're headed into the last question of this first round of Friday Fun Day Trivia. You can join in from the beginning of the next game. Godfather. Now, people will argue that the sequels to The Godfather were not as good as the original. And as an avid film buff, I concur. Heading into the last question of our first round of Friday Fun Day Trivia tonight. Super easy quote. So I can do this one too, let's see. To infinity and beyond! This was uh, a question or part of a question in last week's Friday Fun Day Trivia. talking about Pixar and the fact that Billy Crystal actually turned down the role, I think of Buzz Lightyear, but he accepted the role of Mike Wazowski in Monsters Inc. and Monsters University. story. That concludes round one. Then we to round two. And tonight is a three-time participant in Friday Fun Day Trivia. Just played. And this one. Oh no, you're not supposed to see any of this. Ah, ah, ah. Look at the library's website. Ah. <laughs> oh wait, that's the wrong. Oh, good lord. There we go. Shameless promotion while I keep myself together. The library is now offering curbside service, as you can see here on the screen. I think you can see it on the screen. Yep. And that means you can go online and place books on hold. Or you can call into, right now, the headquarters branch and request up to four items. All right, and we're back with Friday Fun Day Trivia. So if you're using the app, you'll refresh your game screen. Systems page. 
And on your second device, go ahead and say cell phone, or tablet, or laptop to submit your answers. If you haven't already guessed by my lovely background video, this next quiz is all about food. Second round has 15 questions and it's food from around the world. First question. What country is known for street food dish? Most people will argue how you pronounce it, either pho or pho. It doesn't matter how you pronounce it as long as it tastes good. Vietnam. Vietnamese street food dish. Ooh, that Squidward kicking things off in the number one position. Next question. This one is double the points. Anyone's game. Where does this dish originate from? Now, who got that right? Oh, Squidward. Are you an international foodie? Is that how you know all these answers? We're only in question three. Where is the Currywurst Museum located? Currywurst, you ask? Well, it's a fast food dish out of Germany consisting of uh, pork sausage that's usually steamed uh, and then cut up into itty bitty bite sized chunks and seasoned with curry ketchup and a spiced ketchup and sprinkled with curry powder served here with french fries. True or false? Fortune cookies are a part of Chinese tradition. Answer is false. Only one person got it right. I know. I'm just as surprised as you. I'm not because I made these quizzes, so I know the answers. Most of them. Anyway, fortune cookies. I don't think I put this in. It's not. Anyway, fortune cookies were actually made in San Francisco in a San Francisco bakery called Ben Kyoto. David Jung was the founder of the Hong Kong Noodle Company in Los Angeles uh, has made a competing claim that he actually invented the cookie in 1918. Yeah, what a fact. All right, in Canada, a maple taffy is made with maple syrup, of course. And what else? This is Canada, I can't do it, I'm terrible. Fresh snow. Let me 
it's made by boiling the maple sap. And it comes in maple butter or maple maple sugar, but yes, they use fresh snow to chill it to its edible consistency. Double the points, this next question. What is the traditional way to eat sushi? What is the traditional way? Answer is with your hands. Of course, you typically see it in movies and television eaten with chopsticks, but no. The traditional way to eat sushi, which, and by sushi, they mean items served on rice, is by lifting a piece between your thumb and middle finger. Dipping it in soy sauce, it's not the traditional way. Next question, double the points. Now, what ingredients were used to make the very first plate of nachos? What were the first ingredients ever? Tortillas, cheese, and jalapeños were the first ingredients in the first batch of tacos, uh, I'm sorry, nachos ever. Uh, it was said that the nachos were invented uh, by a now legendary maitre d' named Ignacio Anaya, uh, who cooked up the first batch of nachos for some hungry U.S. military wives. Uh, at a restaurant called Victory Club in Piedras Negras, Mexico, near Fort Duncan. Added the cheese and jalapenos and served them to the wives as canapes. What is the main ingredient of spaghetti a la however you pronounce that? <laughs> Our correct answer is clams. Spaghetti a la Van Gogh. It's made with spaghetti and clams. That's it. That's basically what it means, or translates into it, spaghetti with clams. Mostly popular in the Campania area. Next question. all day and it's still didn't get it right. What are it's pronounced punch key? There we go. Punch key. Punch keys are filled donuts. Apparently the flavor doesn't really matter as long as it's it's a standard what I believe is a yeast donut that is filled with some sort of flavoring or filling. In which country can green peas be found on a pizza? That just sounds nasty. Next question, double the points. Think carefully about this one. In what country did peaches originate? In what country did peaches originate? 
answer is China. Yes, peaches originated in China. Next question, also worth double the points. In what country would you most likely find durian in the marketplace? Which you most likely find during in the, in the local market. Indonesia, correct. Correct. Now, do not confuse the durian with a jackfruit. So durians have a soft, mushy interior that's super sweet, uh, that has a garlicky kind of flavor, whereas jackfruit is a firmer flesh uh, that can be sweet, but are primarily starchy. Uh, it makes a really good substitute. Jackfruit makes a really good substitute for pulled pork if you're trying to go that vegan route a la Miss Tabitha Brown, you know, like so, like that. Next question. Where might you sit down to a smorgasbord? What country would you have a sit down to the smorgasbord? Every time I hear the word smorgasbord, I can only think of Templeton the Rat in the original Charlotte's Web well singing, A fair is a wonderful smorgasbord, smorgasbord, smorgasbord. That's the only reason why I remember the word. Sweden. Sweden, yeah. Correct. Smorgasbord is basically a big fancy word for a large spread of food or a buffet type thing. Next question. Double the point. Haggis is found in what country? Haggis. Ugh. Scottish dish, correct. It is whew, sheep's pluck. I'm going to guess that's some sort of entrail or skin or something like that. Uh, it's got sheep's heart, liver, lungs, and stomach. Gross. Onion, some sort of oats, and spices. Still would need it. In what country was the ice cream cone invented? just magically appear. Ice cream cone. The red dancer is the United States. That's right. Everyone thinks ice cream cone because we got ice cream from gelato, which is primarily found in Italy. Uh, Italo Marconi actually created or invented the ice cream cone when he immigrated from Italy into New York City. He filed for a patent that was ready in Europe in Our winner's circle can be Spidey, number one, Elena, number three, Squidward, Numero Dos. Numero Dos. Alright. Yes, I want to eat. Went back to the library's website while I get my life together for round three and what may be. 
our final round. I don't know. Depends on how fast we go through this. I think I've adjusted it enough. This next one, because I'm a music fan, I'm a DJ, I love music. Of course, it's going to be about music. And this time, you're going to have to guess the song in five seconds or less. Hopefully this works out. as I am right now.
this song in five seconds or less. I hope this works. song Rolling in the Deep by Adele. Recently posted a photo of her weight loss and somebody said Adele looked like she went from hello to what you want. That made me giggle. Next song, here we go. Five seconds or less. <laughs> Shake. It's not the Harlem Shake that I'm familiar with, but it had its moment. Five seconds or less. <laughs> what a race here. Next question. This one is worth double the point. It's a little harder. Maybe. Sir Duke. You probably got that right because it told you the title on the screen. <laughs> Next question. What's this song? <laughs> chalk that eye of the lion up to you looking at the answers too fast and trying to come for the number one spot. Got Laney with an answer streak of five correct answers. Here we go. Next song. Super easy. Ha! There's no music. One of two songs. no song called Frozen. That's the name of the movie. The song is Let It Go. 
sang beautifully and loudly by Andina Menzel. Phenomenal singer and Broadway actress. <laughs> This next question is worth d -d 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 double the points. Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Next question. Should be an easy one. It's the police. Every breath you take. Most known to uh, the world as a sample of Puppy's tribute song to the Notorious B.I.G. This next question is also worth double the points. Something like that. The theme song to the hills was not this song, even though uh, they did use this song for a spin-off show with Lauren Conrad. Coming come clean. So, what's the name of this song? Song is Crush. It's a popular song. Jennifer Page. Covered by Glee. The song was released in 1998. This one is a multi select, so there's multiple correct answers, I think. No, it's not. Ha! Also accepted Love Me Love Me by the Cardigans. If you were a super fan of watching VH1 music videos in the morning on your way to school, you would know that song. Still D R E. 
last question in this round, also a multi-select. This one is two time points. What's the name of this song? Correct answer is all of them because the original name of the song is called Diwali Rhythm. And it was sampled. Every song that you see listed here was has a sample of the Diwali Rhythm uh, drums. So that includes No Letting Go by Wayne Wonder. The Uh Oh song or Never Leave You by Umi D. Intro drums were Ponder Replay by Rihanna. And pretty much the full beat minus the uh, Indian inspired guitar sounds uh, in the song Get Busy. You know what? Let's do one more round. Why not? Why not? Because this one is pretty cool. I think you're going to like it. It is all about weird facts and whether or not they are true or false. This will be our last round of the
are all true or false? Weird facts. Question number one. Jelly beans get their shiny exterior from insect poop. Is that true or false? Correct answer is true. Sorry to break it to you, jelly bean lovers, uh, but the shiny stuff uh, comes from an insect that is native to Thailand. I'm not going to tell you where uh, it comes from on that insect, but uh, you can use your imagination. Question two. Natural flavoring substitute. It is true. Almost. So it actually comes from a gland that is located next to where a beaver's poo comes from. Told you. It's weird facts. Some of them are gross, but yeah. Yeah. So behind all those fancy words, like essential oils, it's a beaver's butt. True or false? Your feet have 500,000 sweat glands. True or false? Your feet have 500 sweat glands. That is false. Your feet actually have 250,000 sweat glands, and they excrete half a pint of sweat every day. Gross. True or false? Ancient Roman people used crushed mice brains as a toothpaste. It is true. They would crushed them up and they found a new way of brushing their teeth. They would mix it with some bicarbonate sodium. So it gave it a nice consistency and used the mixture to brush their teeth. True or false? Smelling is an allergic reaction. reaction per se. So the way that you smell things is that molecules from whatever it is that you're trying to smell, whether it's a flower or food or anything like that, uh, the molecules off that item that you're trying to smell sticks to the inside of your nose and that creates uh, how you perceive certain smells. Yeah. Thirty percent of the air you breathe when traveling through a subway is dead skin. It is false. It is actually fifteen percent. If you're traveling on a subway, and you take a deep breath in. You're breathing in about. 15% uh, of that is going to be dead skin. And skin comes from people's heads, armpits, and belly buttons, believe it or not. Is false. It's actually has been studied uh, that if you're a fast food consumer, 
you ingest about 12 hairs from down there each year. So when you're dabbing your fries in the ketchup, you've got a little curly cues all up in there as well. <laughs> this next question is worth double the points. Human poop uh, has a host of transmissible pathogens that are super duper hard to get rid of. This is why everybody should be washing your hands. Should have been washing them anyway, you nasties. But the bacteria from human poop are so tiny that uh, they're hard to get rid of and they can pass right through 10 layers of toilet paper. That's why I carry wet wipes. True or false? People of Vietnam drink copra wine as a medicine. True, true, true. It's actually less of a wine per se, but it's more uh, rice wine with a whole cobra shoved right into it for medicinal purposes. Uh, yes, cobras are venomous if they bite you, but because of the rice liquor, dilutes the poison and makes it inactive. True or false? If your immune system disappeared, is true. If you had no immune system, it's just poof, vanished. The bacteria in your stomach would eat you alive within 48 hours. Scary is the fact that it's eating you from the inside out. Gross. That find people includes Friday Fun Day Trivia. I have been your host, Mark Peter Beach, on behalf of the Clayton County Library System. Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, be sure to look out on our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course our, our website for more information on the next Friday Fun Day Trivia. Have a great weekend.